Wow. Flooded. Look at this. <laughs> oh my lord. Welcome back to another one. Today, there is a north breeze. It's a little humid out, but not bad. Woo, it's hot. It is hot. Still a north wind. Humid as can be. Absolutely humid. We got some rain last night, and it is not much. Just enough to make it dreadfully humid. Uh, we are here at the first stop, the first pond on the list. Uh, pretty excited about this field, this pond. Last year I leased this field and pond and it did not produce. But last year we also didn't offer dove hunting. There was a bunch of doves on it. I leased it, I think it was like November 1st, September. I didn't have it. There was a bunch of dove on it. This year we're going to capitalize on the dove hunting and use it like it's supposed to be used looks like someone has already drove a side-by-side -side in here so what we have i'll show you in a, you'll get a better look at it here in a minute um plus stay tuned here in just a couple seconds i have some awesome news for you all so we got irrigated corn which is my field to beans and then the next field is milo and my water hole is directly in the center of it all <laughs> yeah that's a win baby Sorry for the wind, y'all. I'm going GoPro so I can be hands-free, bringing y'all along on today's trip. We got four bags of millet ready to go on these ponds. Let's unstrap the beast here and get out there. I am excited. I'm getting ramped up for this season. I know y'all are too. It seems like people, uh, man, they're calling me every single day. Returning clients, new clients, uh, gonna be able to see a lot of new faces this season from the YouTube channel Seriously y'all thank you from the bottom of my heart all of you guys uh, from the YouTube channel That have been long-lasting sub subscribers And coming here hunting with me at my my lodge my guide service uh, Without y'all this would not be possible. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I'm a little rusty here. We got to get going. Winch. I usually got to grab it. Oh. Oh. Wrong button, Bob. There we go. Nice having a winch up here. You ain't got to strap the front. We just do a little bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And we're out of here. Oh, it's hot. Definitely gonna open that up. Get rid of the trash. That's probably Cole Townsend's trash. Always messing up my stuff. Just kidding. <laughs> I gotta give him some crap. It's one of my best friends. But, oh, better stop. There's a car coming. Sorry. <laughs> um, but, new news. We are offering dove hunting, September dove hunts. Um, if y'all seen, well, you may not have seen that video yet. I don't think I've uploaded it yet. Um, there'll be a two pigeon hunts coming. And both of them, we were decoying a ton of dove right on the mojo. Um, it was, it just got my brain going. I'm like, why am I not running dove hunts with lodging at a great price for y'all? This is your opportunity. If you like dove hunt, this is oh, one bunch of dove getting up in front of me. The GoPro probably will be too far away to see them for y'all. If you like dove hunting, this is your opportunity uh, to come to the lodge, experience the lodge, experience me and Gerald running you guys, uh, hunting with y'all. Um, you'll beat Fred, Judge, my dogs, my family, Bodie, my son. He'll probably be hunting with us a little bit here and there um, for a really, really good price. It, 
Dove hunting is really cheap. Uh, we're gonna be doing two or three day trips with full lodging. Um, I'm gonna stock the cabinets, the refrigerator. We have a Traeger, we have a grill, we have a smoker, we have a full kitchen. People can make what they want. All the food will be stocked for y'all and you guys will be able to make and cook whatever you guys want at any time. We're right up against town, so maybe we'll all go out to eat to Buffalo Wild Wings one night or for lunch or whatever. But if you don't get your lemon in the morning, we're going out in the evening. So lots of fun to be had. I'm extremely excited. Fill out the booking form, sandhillflyways.com. The link is always down at the top of the description on every single one of these videos. If you can't tell, I'm freaking excited. I'm pumped to do it. And it looks like this pond might be dry, which isn't good. Uh-oh. Uh, may not be a good deal. Yikes. Wow. I'm hoping there's water in it. I guarantee you there is. I'm going to have to go back to the truck and get my muck boots on. I got my old tennis shoes on. This little puddle right here, I thought that was a pond. It is not. See that cutout in there? <sighs> oh, look, Dove hitting it already. He planted the corn all the way up to the water. Oh my goodness, last year it was like 100 yards away from the water. That's a game changer. Let's go get the muck boots on so I can get in there and take a peek. All right, we're here. We got the old muck boots on. Those will be a lifesaver, I can guarantee it. Still got the pigeon decoys in here. Here we go. All right, we got some German millet. They did not have Japanese millet, unfortunately but I think this German millet will do just fine. Um, honestly, I don't even know if we'll need it with the corn being butted up like it is uh, surrounding the entire pond edge to edge. Man, if we get any good amount of rain, this pond is going to flood out like it usually does all the way through this corn. This could be an absolute game changer this year for this field. All right, here we go. Uh, probably a bucket will do. It's a really small pond, but come on. Millet, it's a really, really small, small seed. So when you broadcast it, it doesn't take a whole bunch to go a really long ways. All right, now we're gonna make our trek through the wilderness of corn here. Looks like someone's already drove in, walked in here. Look, it's automatically muddy in here. Wow, look at this, it's already flooded the corn out. Uh-oh, we got deer tracks. Oh, it's all flooded through here. Oh my gosh, this is a game changer, boys. Boys and gals, this is a freaking game changer. Wow, I'm excited. Wow, flooded. Look at this. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, talk about perfect. Wow. No freaking way. He did not, the farmer did not plant it like this this last year. This is a game changer. Wow. All right, let's get to work. All these muddy banks, you just broadcast it. Looks like this is about the only muddy bank we got. And with the rain coming, oh boy, I'm excited. Just broadcast it nice and thick like. Throw a little bit in the corn. Wow, I'm excited. This is freaking amazing. Man, the deer are even hitting it. Throw some back in that flooded stuff. This is, this is badass. I can't hold my tongue, guys. This is, this is sweet. This could not be any more 
perfect. Yeah, it sinks. We'll throw a little bit out there. Wow. This is freaking amazing. The wind's gonna blow it across. This is so cool. Well, I'm gonna get off here, finish my job up. All right, we are back at her. Um, next pond, <laughs> as you can tell, more corn, who would have known? <laughs> yes! A uh, good year for corn, y'all. You can't tell. Um, really, really, oh, that, oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. No freaking way. So this is one farmer I lease from, the corn. This is another, there's a tree row and a field behind it, and he planted that to Milo. Corn and Milo together. Corn and Milo and wheat are the top three yummy, yummy goodness. What them geese and them ducks crave, especially the ducks. The ducks love the Milo a ton. Um, and this is dry land. I'm in the side by side. By the way, my side by side is lifted. If you know anything about farming, you know what I'm talking about. If not, um, we have not seen dry land corn this tall. It's standing about six, seven foot tall right now. Dry land corn. And what I mean by dry land, um, the last place we were at, that was irrigated. So what that means, if you don't know, Here's a little lesson from old Bob. Irrigated is the pivots, the big sprinklers that you see out in the middle of crop fields. Those are called irrigation systems. They're also known as pivots. They're also called circles because they go in a circle, they create a, ma a massive circle. So nonetheless, dry land means it's not irrigated and it's only irrigated by mother nature, rain. Um, Check it out. That's some good dry land corn, y'all. Really good. I haven't seen this field uh, planted the corn in a bit. I don't know what's going on with this squeaking business. Sorry, this thing's rattling to death. I haven't seen dry land corn all over the place this good in a lot of years. This field right here has a massive pond. We got to hunt twice last year, and I don't think I ever actually made videos of it. Um, I know I, I know I made videos. I, we filmed videos. I don't think they ever got posted. Speaking of which, um, right now I have probably 30 to 40 filmed hunts from last season that are in the vault just waiting to be uploaded. So let me know guys down in the comment section if I should start uploading those videos since we're getting close to season now. Um, I've just been waiting, patiently waiting um, because viewage on waterfowl hunting just doesn't do very good during the summer. But if you guys wanna see them, I will edit and upload them. I have a ton. This pond I finally got to hunt really good one time last year. Um, and it was a banger. It was sweet. We we landed like 500 to 1,000 geese right in our face, and it was freaking sweet. Oh, this looks sketchy. Where are we gonna make this? Better check it. Looks a little sketch. Um, but this pond that I'm getting ready to go to, I'm not sure that you guys have ever seen on a video. This is. Actually, this very special moment here. I don't know if I filmed this. I might have filmed and uploaded some ice cedar action when, when we were busting ice on it. But this is in fact, if you go back to the first ever video that I uploaded six or seven years ago, however long it's freaking been, the footage, some of the footage from that hunt was on this pond. Go back and check it out big drainage we're not gonna get through there <laughs> usually he doesn't plant through this massive 
drainage ditch, but we're not going to knock down a bunch of corn. We're going to have to go out and around. Good deer tracks. Wow. Huh. But I'm going to shut it down. I will open it up when I eventually get there. We got to go around all this corn. This field and this pond is the duckiest of duck central. Probably this pond, I would say, is probably the most important lease period that I have. And it took me so long to get it. It wasn't available for a long time. Long story short, essentially the farmer who owns it now acquired it uh, the beginning of this year. I was already leasing some ground from him and he actually surprised me one day and he goes, hey, I bought the pond. And I'm like, no freaking way, dude. This is probably one of the best duck and goose hunting ponds. Uh, definitely in the county, I would say. Definitely in the widespread area. So let's get in there. I'll, I'll show you guys what's up. Well, here we are. She is huge. I'll show you how big it is when we get out of the uh, side by side here. It went down just a little bit since we hunted it last season. Um, where I'm at right now, last season, if you watched even half of the videos last year, it was wet, like really bad wet the entire year, which made for great hunting. The, the hunting was, I mean, by far the best year we've ever had because of old El Nino doing his job, but uh, she is holding water really well. This pond never goes dry, knock on wood. It's deep, it's large, and this corner is the duck hole. All of the ducks, the geese kind of spread out along the whole thing, but the ducks absolutely love this corner. I can guarantee you we'll have teal in here. Um, come September for sure this is by far my most prized most special uh, my favorite by far not even not even close lease pond <clears throat> pond that I have by far it's windy sorry for the wind y'all here she is in all her glory just an awesome piece man Last year we sent about, we sat center of the pond on this south side. It was a south wind and we destroyed the geese. Destroyed them. But last year, the water was really flooded up through here. And all this was wet. There was no way last year that you could drive this side by side down here. It was so wet. I love this place. This is, uh, this place is extremely special to me. Um, I killed my first <clears throat> banded duck right here. Uh, it was far long before I started YouTube. No videos, just buddy hunting. It was right here. We sat, I think we sat about right here. Lay down blinds here on the edge and absolutely cranked on the ducks. This is by far our best duck hunting pond that we have, that I have here at Sand Hill Flatway. And this year, I didn't acquire this pond in, last year until about January 15th, when it was all said and done. And this year I'll have it all season, and it's gonna be special, man. Um, I don't know if there's much plant and millet to be had. We don't have much bank edge down here, unfortunately. I'm gonna spread some along this edge. Down in this corner, this is inevitably where the ducks always want to be down here. Spread a little bit, see, see if it takes, you know, just along this edge. But, um, sorry, I just burped there while I was talking. <laughs> uh, I'm just excited, I'm very excited for this season. <clears throat> We've got so much new ground. These two ponds that I've showed you aren't even 10%, 5% of all the new leases we've got this year. Gerald has worked his butt off over all these seasons, getting 
the greatest leases, the greatest properties, so have I, and it just pays off for our clients uh, being able to show up and uh, us just being dependable on the hunts. The lodging and Bert's cooking is always special, and it's the cherry on top, <clears throat> but you can come to Sand Hill and bet your bottom dollar that you can bet your top dollar. You can bet whatever you want that you will show up and kill birds, man. I'm, I'm so proud of what I've built. I know a lot of you, when you call uh, wanting to book a hunt, a lot of you are excited to talk to me and I'm so excited to talk to y'all. And the stories that I get are so special to me. Been watching you for years, man. Proud of you, what you do. You've built such a, a great thing and, and you get to hunt for a living. and. And I do, I do, it, it's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. I, I, never, I never work a day in my life now. I enjoy every day. I've built such a, a rock solid, I, I, I'll never be a millionaire, but the passion I have for what I've created, I feel like one. I'll never be rich, I won't. If you think that running a guide service produces millionaires, you're crazy. It is so expensive to lease ground. It is so expensive to pay your guys well. It is so expensive to pay for the unnecessary prices that buy has put on, sorry, I'm not trying to get political, on our groceries, on our fuel. Think about the fuel we go through on four trucks, five trucks every day. It's expensive. At the end of the year, the bank account don't look so great but the memories made are worth every penny. Here we go. I love it. I love it. I'm getting the fever, man. Right around the corner. We have uh, availability, y'all. November through February. I'm going to start doing some discount rates in February. It'll be goose hunting only. But that's when we hunted this pond here was last February, and it was a banger. Uh, the goose hunting in February, the first part of February, is phenomenal here in my area. And uh, February is wide open on the schedule right now, unfortunately. Hopefully it'll fill up. I'm sure it will. It always does. Uh, but we do have some November availability, December, January, and February, guys. Fill out the booking form. I'll be getting a hold of you. Here we go. Farmer Bob out here. You know me. Just gonna do this corner. Then I'm probably gonna drive back around to that edge because it looks like it's got a nice uh, low slope on that edge where the water is gonna wash up and up on, on that decent slope so this millet will take off. This millet, it needs water to grow. So it needs to be right on the edge pretty much. This, this pond's really deep, so. See, this is a really good edge right here. We got a nice gentle slope. This millet will take off nice here. We got some deer tracks. Nice and moist in here. This is, remember that canal we've seen? This is where that canal runs all the way through the field and drains into this pond. All right, that's good here. We're gonna go around the other side. Well, 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 we're back home on the golf cart, headed back here to the lodge. Uh, successful day yesterday um, on those two ponds. Um, I didn't show y'all, but I essentially planted, I would say about three quarter. Come on. About 65% uh, of the bank edge of that pond so it'll be uh exciting to see uh what takes off on that very very small edge all the way around it you know um i i planted i would say a handful of ponds in my day uh just like that just scattering it on the muddy muddy edge and letting it do its thing no it all doesn't take off but what does does really good so um unfortunately um i really don't have any spots with wells on them where I can uh, let them dry up. Um, 
actually I take that back I do have one spot that we're gonna try on the next video which I'll tell you about here in a minute but letting them dry up disking them planting them um, and then flooding the millet that's how you're supposed to plant millet but again it's um, it's tough getting the well water rights out in BFE um, and then dropping a well and digging it and everything just really really costly and your boys trying to save as much money as we can but there is a pond that I'm gonna go work work on right now when I get done uploading this video um, it's basically just what I said we're gonna mow it I might try to plant some millet the problem is that there's cows in there um, so if the millet comes up or we plant milo in or in it in the pond or anything it indefinitely will get eaten by the cows so uh, me and Gerald has been kicking around the idea of planting it putting an electric fence around maybe half of it uh, you know to, to prevent the cows from eating um, all of our delicious millet and or milo in the pond that they indefinitely indefinitely will want to be in especially when it's hot so this is g wagon and i's not new but new to us tractor a kubota la765 it's not tiny it's decent size as you can see it's a medium one and it gets the job done we still have to go pick up uh, we got about three or four other attachments. We have a disc that we have to go pick up. Looks like a bolt came out of here. We gotta fix. Oh, it just snaps in there. There we go. Um, gotta pick up those. A disc. I think there's a a couple other things. I don't know what all it is, but a couple other things. But we're gonna today we're gonna go mow a couple deer spots, um, and then we're gonna go. Mo, and yes, I'm going to make a video like I mentioned earlier. Um, we're going to go mow the duck pond. Hopefully it's dry. Hopefully it's dry. Um, and then we're supposed to be getting a lot of rain this weekend coming. So getting ahead of it, trying to get it in the ground, getting it mowed before water starts standing in it is important. So that's what we're going to get done today. It's still, it's only like 80 degrees right now. North wind. This is our two week cool down, almost two weeks it looks like that will be in the mid lower 80s and I'm gonna get a lot of work done. Huh. But like I was saying at the beginning of the video, oh, we are offering dove hunts y'all. White tail hunts, which it is too late to put in for the draw if you're a non-resident, but if you're a Kansas resident, get with us. We have some stud muffins on trail cam right now. I'd say we have five big shooters right now that that need to be taken this year by some clients coming here three actually the deer hunts for five days of hunting full lodging um all the works so dove deer um waterfowl of course we have some availability november uh through february we are filling up but i would jump on it if you're interested it is only a two-man minimum to book a hunt with us here for waterfowl uh, and we also have the Duck Shack, which is about $200, $250 cheaper than the Lodge package. Then we have the Farmhouse down the road, which is about $700 cheaper uh, than the Lodge package. So um, the Dove Hunts are the cheapest that we offer. Uh, very, very, very reasonable. If you have ever just want to get here, shoot some birds, uh, sit around, talk, gab, have a good time at Duck Camp. And then we are offering Spring turkey hunts so be sure to get in on the draw on turkey if you haven't bought your point for deer get online and do that now if you buy your point before next year's draw uh, you will probably most likely 80 90 percent get your draw so i'm getting out of here sandhillflyways.com is always linked down at the top of the description thank you all for being here i'm gonna go sweat some more film some more videos for y'all but until next time